Hi. Now, in this part B of this question, what I've done is I've updated the distance CD, which was called X, and we found this out in the previous part to be 0 0.75 meters. So update your diagram then with 0.75 meters. Now, what we do in this part is we attach a weight at B. So if we mark that in there, we don't know what that weight is. That's the problem. So I'm going to call it W, W newtons. But when we add this weight at B, we're told that the rod AB starts to tilt. In other words, it starts to lift off this support here. So our reaction here is going to disappear. It's going to be zero. It's just going to lift off there. So let's get rid of that. Okay, we'll get rid of that. So we've got no reaction from this support now. Just imagine there's a little tiny air gap there. Now as soon as that lifts off, our reaction at D is going to change. It was helped along with this reaction here when it existed, but now that it's disappeared, it's got to support the 120 newtons, the weight of the rod, and this weight here. So it's going to change from 80 newtons. So I'll rub that out. We better call it something else. Let's call it a reaction at D. Put a little subscript there. And don't forget the units there, newtons. So we've got to get W. And how are we going to do that? Well, we don't want to get our D, the reaction at D, involved in this. So what we should do is take moments about D. So if we take moments about D, we'll have our usual notation here, MD. We've got to select a turn which is going to be positive, okay, a positive sense for our moments. Well, it's up to you which way you take, but it strikes me the best way we can do is to take clockwise because if you are turning about D, B is going to want to turn round in this direction and the weight is wanting to turn the rod round anti-clockwise about D. I want to find W. I'm going to keep it positive if I take turning in a clockwise direction as being positive. Right. Okay, so we need to take the moment of the weight W about D, so it's going to be W times this distance. Well, we know it's 1.75 from A to D. The rod is 3 meters long, so this distance must be 1.25 meters. So let's just mark that in, 1.25 meters. We'll just put an arrow up to there and an arrow down to that support there at D. So we've got W times 1.25. We've got the 120 now, the weight of the rod, and that's wanting to turn it in an anti-clockwise sense about D. So it's going to be minus, because it's in the opposite sense, 120, that's the force, times that distance to D. Well, if that's 0 0.75 and we've got 0 0.5 here, this must be 0 0.25 meters. So we've got 120 times 0 0.25. This is the overall moment about D, the turning effect, but it's in equilibrium, so it's going to be equal to Z, the zero. There is no overall moment. So we just need to solve this now. So we've got W times 1.25, so that's going to be 1.25 W. 120 times 0.25 is 30, minus 30, add it to both sides and you get equals 30. Divide both sides by 1.25 and you get W equals 30 over 1.25. Work that out on your calculator and it comes out that that weight W is exactly 24 newtons. Okay?